this is what I do. I experiment. Um, I try and learn. Sometimes I wish I hadn't bothered. Who knows whether this is going to be one of those occasions. I don't even drink coffee myself. <laughs> I drink tea if I'm going to drink a warm drink. Hello and welcome back to my shed here in Norfolk. Good to see you. If you're new here, my name's Nick. I sell stuff on the internet. Here's the stuff. And I thought I would share with you uh, this beast of a coffee machine that I bought. Um, it's the first time I've really taken a close look at it since I bought it. Now we went to a yard sale event in Norwich and we came up to a stall, got chatting with the lady there. Um, they had a building, looked like at one point it was a kind of car sales stroke garage place. They'd bought this property with the intention of opening a gallery, um, she was saying, and they had bought this about 10 years ago from a bookshop in London that was closing down with the intent of having this in their gallery and, and having a little coffee shop in there, etc. Times moved on, um, Covid kind of finished off the plans from what I could work out and they've decided to sell up and move on. So they were clearing everything, which included this commercial coffee machine. She wanted 50. I threw out an offer of 40. She was just happy to get rid of it. I, I figured I'd take a chance there and then. Um, so I've looked into it a little bit. I've also, um, my friend Cliff, who's into these commercial sort of catering machines and equipment, reckons knew this would be up in the 1,000 to 2,000 bracket, potentially. Obviously, it is not new. It's a, a minimum of 10 years old, probably probably considerably more than that. It's very well used, <laughs> um, but it does have some value. I couldn't find any recently completed on eBay, but using Terrapeak, I managed to find a few that have sold. Um, the most it has achieved is 285, 285. Um, but because it's an old listing, I can't go into it, find out if that was, I assume that was fully working. Um, there's been a couple sold as spares repair, um, collection only, for similar sort of money to what I spent on this. Um, so I don't know, jury's out. I may... <laughs> I may end up regretting this one, but I think my £40 is very safe. People part these out, sell the, the bits and bobs of spares. I don't think I want to go that route. I am going to get it cleaned up, power it up, see what it does, and then probably sell it as is um, and see what I can achieve with it. Um, let me just flip the view and I'll show you what condition it's in. I've also got a box of stuff here, which I've not actually looked in. So we can take a look through there as well, see what goodies we've got. So here is the machine. As you can see, it is very dusty. It is in dire need of a clean. Um, this bit, I think, is something completely separate. This seems to be a little... Um, cooler stroke warmer because down here uh, we have cold and hot um, but I don't know that I've got the power lead I mean it might be in this box we'll have a look in a minute um, yeah so here it is so you've got your little hoppers for your beans uh, you've got this water tank on the side all very dirty needs a good clean it is a Dura Impressor X7. So that is the machine. Uh, it's very heavy. <laughs> and yeah, there it is. So, like I said, we also got this box of bits with it. Uh, let's take a look. I'll flip the view and do it this way. So we have, this is good. So we have a manual there. So that's handy. At least I can sell it with instruction book. Um, yeah, all sorts of gubbins in there. So we have paperwork. Welcome pack. 
There's not a lot in the welcome pack. Um, not a lot in there. Uh, we have some of the, now we have a little coffee machine. And these, this looks like, yeah, these are descaling tablets. That feels, I think it's still sealed. I think the seal is still on there. Interesting. And this one is almost empty descaling tablets. So one may be full and one nearly empty of those. Uh, oh, yeah, this is Pooley Cleaner. We've used that on our machine before. So a little pot of Pooley Cleaner. Some other bits and bobs in there. There is, ah, now there's a power output here. I wonder if that goes with this thing. Let's see what fitting it has. Yeah, yeah, it does. That looks like it would go in there. Struggling to point you and yeah, that's going to go in there. Okay. So we'll be able to see if that little mini warmer stroke fridge unit works. Apart from that, there's just some lines there, some tubes, and I don't know what else, so some brackets. Can you see? Bits and bobs in the bottom. Uh, don't know. So nothing too exciting in there. So there it is. Um, it's one of those. It, it's a case of, it seemed like a good price at £40 for what it is. I know nothing about coffee machines, really. I did say we have a little a one in the kitchen, um, but that barely gets used. I don't even drink coffee myself. <laughs> I drink tea if I'm going to drink a warm drink. Um, but there you go. So, like I say, I may live to regret this one. Um, I don't think I'll have, it, have any trouble getting my investment back, um, just selling it as is. Whether I can make some decent money on this, like I say, that... The ones on Terrapeak, uh, the maximum it sold for, 285262, for that exact model. I can only assume they were sold as working machines. Um, so whether I can get this running, um, put some descaler through it, you know, sell it that, that it might work, I don't know. Is it worth the hassle? Possibly. It's one of those things. As a reseller, this is what I do. I experiment. Um, I try and learn. Sometimes I wish I hadn't bothered. Who knows whether this is going to be one of those occasions. Um, I didn't mention, if you come down here, there is a little bit of damage. If we look here, you can see this is a bit melted on there, as if something has been sat on there and burnt it. So that will have to be declared. The plastic is all distorted and melted a bit. Um, but apart from that, cosmetically it seems okay, it just needs a really thorough clean inside and out. Uh, this plate on top is absolutely filthy. It had sat in this old car dealership for probably the 10 years since they bought it. It has a little um, electric safety test thing on the back, which is 2014. So that kind of ties in with, so that's, what's that? Nine years ago. So that's about right. She said roughly 10 years ago they picked it up. So it looks like the last time it was pat tested was 2014. So I can safely say, I think it was functioning and being used in this bookshop in 2014. Whether it would still function now? Good question. Anyway, let me know if you had any experience selling these, this sort of a commercial coffee machine do you think 40 pounds was a good investment in this considering i really have no idea what i'm doing um is this how you operate do you pick things up thinking okay i i reckon i can make some money on that maybe i'll learn something along the way because that's what i tend to do um yeah and if you've got any information on this little warming stroke cooling unit let me know uh, yeah there you go uh 
just again in case you wanted to know it is an impressa x7 a dura impressa x7 if any of you are in the market for one of these yeah send me a message we could do a deal <laughs> um okay thank you very much for watching that's me and my next mini project a massive coffee machine if you want to carry on watching this person talk about selling stuff on the internet i will find an old video and pop it up here please check this one out if it looks interesting for you thanks for watching take care i'll see you soon bye